My favorite neighborhood in Paris has to be Saint-Germain. The best way to explore it is on foot. Um, I did a bit of a walking tour with a twist with my guide, Christine. We explored many different bakeries and chocolate shops. It's a vibrant neighborhood around every corner. You've got cafes and people spilling onto the streets. I love to have a glass of wine sitting outside of a bustling cafe where you can watch the world go by. I particularly like the area near the Alley Gray Market where you can watch the locals pick out their fresh fruits and vegetables or pick out an artisanal baguette to bring home for their meal. My favorite thing to eat has to be the French macaron. It's a sweet, light, delicate little pastry that's made with almond flavor and ganache on the inside. They come in a variety of flavors, so typically you can get chocolate or pistachio or lemon, but in Paris especially, you can get really unique flavors like rose or tea or even passion fruit. Um, they're typically kind of hard to make, or at least I thought so, before I had a cooking class with Chef Mart. We went to her private Parisian apartment, which was the perfect environment to make something so classically French, and it was really effortless after she showed us how to do everything. There's so many great places to see art in France. The most well-known and probably the best would be the Louvre in Paris. It's a famous museum. It's been around for centuries. There's beautiful works of art, starting with the Mona Lisa from Leonardo da Vinci to the Venus de Milo from all time periods, all places on Earth. It's really wonderful, full of history. My personal favorite would probably be Giverny, which is where Claude Monet lived and painted the water lilies. You can actually go and take a tour of his home and see the gardens and the beautiful lily ponds. It's absolutely gorgeous. They have replicas of all of his famous works and also his personal collection. Visiting the D-Day beaches in the American Cemetery was an extremely humbling experience. It transports you from your daily life. You read books and you hear stories from teachers and relatives growing up. and it, you're surrounded by it. It gives this vivid and tangible backdrop. Standing on the beaches, looking up the cliffs, you get a glimpse into the unimaginable fear and the unconquerable bravery these soldiers, these heroes had as they charged off the boats. For the sacrifices them and their families made, fighting for freedoms that I enjoy every day, I am forever grateful.